everyone today we have this 24 days of fidget advent calendar i got it off amazon so i'll leave the link to purchase it in the description below but there's all these different doors it's on the front and back how many fidgets spinners fidgets whatever do i own fidget toys i guess <laughs> zero i don't own any so i'm gonna look through these and if i actually find any i like i'll keep them but otherwise i'm just gonna give the rest to my niece and she absolutely loves these things but I figure we can open up all 24 together. So we'll start with day one. All right, let's see what we got. What? Oh no! Is this all, this is all just one? What? Is this all really just one? So here's everything that was in day one. And now I'm kind of confused. Like, is this all supposed to be in the first box? Cause they kind of don't go together or I wonder if a couple of the boxes fell into day one. Like what if this is like day two, three, and four, or in one, but okay, nevertheless. So I don't, these kind of remind me of hair scrunchies. I don't, I don't know why this is a fidget thing. They look more like scrunchies that are way too tight and they're kind of, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but they're like metal material is what it feels like to me. Um, I don't know how this is a fidget toy. I guess because you can roll it around, but this is just a disco ball. This I think is cute. I'll use this as a decoration. Would I describe this as a fidget toy? No. <laughs> I really don't get how they're classifying any of this as fidget toys, but this makes sense. I can picture like this being a fidget toy when you like squeeze them out, the little peas. Um, I think out of everything in this little lot, probably maybe this is the thing that I'll keep and I'll give the rest of this to my niece. So if this is the sign of how things are, oh look, they got little faces on them, or at least he does. Is that supposed to be like a puppy? Where's the rest of his face? Why is there just one ear? What is this? They don't have faces, but if this is a sign of how the rest of the doors are gonna be, this might be a tragedy in the making. One for me, all that for my niece. Let's move on to day two. Ooh. Okay, so maybe the doors do really have that much stuff. I thought there was gonna be like one fidget toy per, per door, but this one's got a bunch in them. That's a ton of stuff in one door. That's impressive. This door is definitely better than the previous one. So, so it looks like we have a flicker thing a rolly thing, um, a joystick thing, and some buttons because it's supposed to be like a controller. I do, oh look. And then, I do like the little Christmas theme that's going on this little controller. Um, there are some textured bumps along this edge. I don't know if the camera is gonna focus on that or pick it up. But so far, I like this. This goes in this pile for now, but I'll probably still give that to my niece. Okay, so this is one of those things. I feel like I remember having something like this as a kid. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, so you just kind of, yeah, just this way, this way. I feel like something like this would end up not relaxing me, but giving me more anxiety. I don't know why, like, I guess it's okay. But here that is, um, she'll like that. Okay, so this looks more familiar to me. I've never owned a fidget spinner, so this is officially my first one. Will I keep it? Probably not, I'll probably give this to my niece too. I like to think it spins really nice, and it also, I guess, is a combination because it has those like popper things with it too. Um, it has Santa, that is a Creepy looking Santa, but wiggle, 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 whoop. But all right, so the front and back are the same. I don't know, I like this. I think this is a little neat. This goes in the good pile. <laughs> my niece will probably end up getting all this minus the Christmas tree, but I just want to kind of separate good from bad. Number three is over here. Let's see what we have in here. What? Nope, I don't like that texture. Ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it. This, okay, I'm gonna explain to you what this texture is. 
Has anyone, this might be showing my age, but has anyone ever played that game as a kid where it was a head of a guy, look at, you know, a cartoon, and you played by pulling out snot from his nose. And that probably sounds bizarre. I'm sure I'll insert a photo of it or if I can find the old school commercial. This is that feeling. It's that feeling of the boogers that would come out of that toy's nose. Also, I don't know how you won or lost that game, like, unless you got the last boogie or what, but... Ugh, I don't like this. Moving on. Um, number four. Oops. Oops. Come out. Okay, so these are one of the things that you throw out the wall. And it's supposed to trickle down. Did I already break it though? I think I fixed it. So let's throw him against the wall and see if he works. Oh. <laughs> Take two. Oh. Take three. Oh. Man, this guy's a dud. Well, this guy sucked. I don't know if he's just broken or doesn't want to work, so he goes in the trash pile. <laughs> On to five. Oh no, it's another one of those things. All right, well, I'm not gonna take him out of the package. I'm gonna see if my niece can get these things to work because I can't. No! Why? I don't want any more of these things. How many of these things could someone possibly have? He kind of looks like, oh, I guess he is supposed to be like a knockoff Spider-Man. Cause you can see the little spider symbol. Well, my Spidey doesn't want to climb. So we're on to seven. It looks like it's one of these things, but it looks like it's also a bracelet, right? Right? No? Is this not a? bracelet how does this work okay I don't know what this is so it looks like it's meant to be a bracelet but maybe I have to cut out I probably have to cut out this part because now there's something to actually put that through ah yes there you go and then I don't know how far you're supposed to pull it so I don't know if we were supposed to do that but I feel like it just makes more sense that way so this is a bracelet fidget popper thing that goes in the knees pile. Let's move on to eight. So these ones are a little smaller. What are you? Oh, I thought this was like candy for a sec. So I won't open this because I know my niece will absolutely love this. It looks like we got the blue hand, but this is just one of those slingshot sticky things where you take it and you smack it against the wall or objects or people. <laughs> this is cool. We like this, we're gonna put that in that pile. Now let's move on to nine. And this is the yellow one of the slingshot. So this is, I don't know what that is. It just kind of looks like a blob, but okay. Now when you look at the listing on Amazon, it does show you what toys come in the box, but I, make sure, like, I made sure when I bought it that A, I didn't look at it and it was a while ago, so I wouldn't even remember it, even if I saw it. But, okay, so here's one of those. This is the red one. So this is a spider web, and it looks like the next box we have, we can only assume will be the green foot. Oh no, okay, so this is the red spider web, I guess, again. Since I have so many, let's open up this one. <laughs> it's not a spider web. It's like one of those medieval thingamabobs, but okay, let's go smack some things with this. Okay. So test number one. Hmm. Doesn't really stick. All right. Let's try and pick up that post-it. Dang it. <laughs> you need to aim. Unless I'm actually hitting it and it just doesn't want to stick. Yay! <laughs> so it works for lighter objects pick up something over here. Well, that just kind of knocked it out of the way. It looks like I'm picking stuff up, but okay, so that worked. I wonder if we can get any of those toys. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, well, that's enough fun. Definitely gonna lose its stickiness, but, oh, no. 
This is the worst thing to possibly get. I'm so bummed that they stuck so many of these things in this box, so. All right. Let's check out lucky number 13. No! Why? Like who? Literally who needs this many of these? Who needs this? Stupid. All right, 14. Okay, this is something new. Oh my. I thought this was a cat toy. I was like, why? Why is this in here? Why? You couldn't even like take this to school if you wanted to and have it be a fidget toy because the teacher would be like, what are you doing? Uh, this is just gonna be, this is annoying. Put that over there. All right, we need a good box. It's been a while since we had a good box, so. 15 is so itty bitty, but maybe good things come in small packages. Oh, it's great. I love it. This is more my style. Look how cute they are. They're tiny, itty bitty candy canes and they can go with the tree. These I'll definitely be keeping because I like to decorate for Christmas. And even though this is so mini, maybe I'll have to create like a mini little elf village. That goes in the good pile. Oops. My light went out, but that's okay. Um, so it looks like it's one of those sticky things again. Unfortunately, this was already open and it wasn't by me stabbing it with my scissors. It was just split open already. So we'll put that in this pile. All right, so that's it as far as this side goes. Now let's flip it over and check out the rest of these boxes. <laughs> it kind of looks like a Chinese finger trap, but it's not. Um, I think I'm discovering that if these are all fidget toys, I don't like fidget toys. <laughs> um, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. It reminds me of one of those straws as a kid that you would play with. This was literally like that, except for this is a lot bigger than that, but yeah, it just reminds me of the bendy parts of the straws that you can pull apart, but with noise, so I don't like it. I just saw there's a second one in here. I wonder if I, I just wanna check and make sure I didn't miss anything on this side, because I didn't realize how deep some of these go into. That's empty. Oh, nope, there is something in here. I found a snowflake. We'll put that in the good Let's pile. Let's open up 18 now. This is awesome. Why wouldn't they save this for 24 instead of having it be 18? Look how much stuff is in that one box. So these are more of those slappy things. I'm gonna give my niece these two and we're gonna test this one out again and see if it's better than these ones. So since this one is in its plastic, I'm just gonna leave it as so. And since this one is out of its plastic, let's just So that's pretty cool. That's also gonna go to my niece. Now let's test out this thing. Test number one. Not really. I don't know if it just. <laughs> Trying to get up there. I think this one might be less sticky than the red thing. Yeah, that red thing would have been able to pick up that <laughs> snowflake, but all right. Well, this one's not that great. So we found out that these things all stick to the ceiling really well. So now we just have to figure out how to get them down. On to box 19, which is right here. Oh, it's another tiny one. I hope it's more candy canes. Holy moly, this took forever to get out. So what is this? What in the Rubik's Cube knockoff is this? Okay, so this is a puzzle. And so I think you just take everything apart. I don't know what comes next. Okay, and I guess it just falls apart. I don't know if this comes apart. I'm just guessing. I might've just broke this thing. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like this at all. I'm going to put this back together and let my niece figure it out. Maybe she'll like this. 
I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. And now for 20. So 20 comes with these two poof rings, I guess you can say. So would I label this a fidget toy? No. Um, I guess maybe. Maybe people just sit there and go like this, but I don't know. I don't know what a fidget toy is. This does not remind me of a fidget toy. But okay, cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's funny because like the stuff people probably wouldn't typically like, I absolutely love. Like this is a little snow hat that says love. And although I don't have a miniature snowman, I have a miniature Christmas tree to wear it. So that's in the good pile. It's hard taking these things out of the boxes when they're literally the size of the box and obviously you don't want to yank on a slinky too hard because then you'll end up breaking it. Once you get kind of small, there's no real slink to the slinky unless you play with it like that. But the colors on this are really pretty. I like that it's star shape. So this is one of the better of the toys. If it was the bigger version where you could actually go like this back and forth, I would like it a lot more, but it is what it is. Really All right, cool. our last two boxes. So 23 it is. Okay, right, so you can't tell me these are fidget toys. This, I don't believe it. I don't believe these would be labeled as fidget toys. Not in the slightest, least little bit. I mean, they're rings. And I guess they're supposed to be like emoji bunny rings. For some reason, we got two of him, so. But... Okay, now for our very last box. Let's cast some good luck in this, and hopefully it's not one of those stretchy men. These are what was in that last box, so they're just top spinners. I have a blanket, so they're not really gonna spin on here, but I mean, they're fun, they're little, they're cute. But if it were me, I would have totally saved this big box for like that main event, the thing you end on rather than these two little tops. But just a thought. Now here is everything that came in that advent calendar. I would say it's definitely entertaining for a kid. My niece will basically be getting everything. Um, I'll probably just keep this little section right here and then she could have all of that next time I see her. Uh, my favorite item out of fidget stuff is definitely this thing. Otherwise, I think these mini candy canes are definitely adorable. Let me know out of this, which is your favorite item and what do you think is a fail? And if you've ever had an advent calendar like this, I think it was around 20 bucks after the 50% off. So that for all this, I think that's really good for an advent calendar. So I would recommend it. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye, friends.